Hi guys, Paul here. And what we're going to be looking at today is some Dell props. And this was sent out by Dell for us to actually have a look at and provide some feedback on. And what we're going to do is quickly run through uh, each of these props. Some we've used and some we haven't. Now, essentially, most of you guys would be aware that uh, one of the advantages with Dell props is the fact that they are so durable, as in they can take a hit, they can clip a branch, and you can continue on. Uh, obviously, in places like Dubai, when we did the race in there, and also the D1, the Dells were very popular purely because of the fact that you could potentially have an accident or collide with something, and there was a possibility that you could continue on with the race. Uh, Tom's also used these in his acro event in the D1, and I will have that video at the end of this one so you can have a look at that and it's actually pretty cool because he slams pretty hard into the zen tower that they had set up there and you can hear this big whopping bang and uh, he's still able to continue on with his acro so that's one of the main reasons that people actually use these dell props for their durability but having said that you actually need to be aware of uh the fact that even though they are durable uh there is a downside to them and it's just something that's, that's not a big negative but you just need to be aware of it and it's the fact that uh you can potentially collide with something and throw the balance of your prop out but the quad is still 100 percent functional so the problem with that is now you've got a motor that's basically uh really out of whack or the prop is out of whack so hence the motor is actually working a lot harder uh, and so is the ESCs, which basically means more heat uh, uh, to both the motor and the ESC and that in itself can uh, present all sorts of problems so you just need to be aware of that so what you probably want to do is if you're not racing and it's not critical for you to continue land and check your props and make sure they're all right so the first prop we're going to actually have a look at is the five by uh, four five bullnose props that they have um, and these are quite a decent looking prop we haven't actually flown with these they're very similar in shape to the HQ props uh, essentially the main difference that's visible is the actual um, hub itself uh, you can see one's a bit more hollow uh, this is the green ones obviously the HQ and other than that they look pretty much identical I can't see anything that's obviously different I think the tips might be slightly different but I could be just imagining things there moving along what we have is the 4x45 tri blades uh, these will probably get going on our either the ZMR 180 or the Tweaker 180. Uh, those quads are both out of action at the moment because we've actually salvaged parts out of them, cameras and VTXs. So we need to probably get those back in there and uh, have a fly with these and see exactly what they are like. Now these props, these are the five by four, five, sort of a wide bladed prop, I wouldn't call them bullnose. These I've just started trialing the last week or so and they seem to be performing quite well. They don't have the crispness of some of the other tri blades but they are delivering more thrust. You can see they're a wider blade. Uh, so hence you are getting a lot more thrust out of these uh, props. And they haven't got the crispness, but for the same token, they seem a little bit smoother, if that kind of makes sense. We're going to see how they go over the coming weeks. I notice my motors are getting a little bit warmer with these, and so are the ESC. So it's just something you need to be aware of. But I think for racing, they could be ideal, depending on, on the circuit. Now, this is the main prop that most of you guys are going to be interested in. This is the uh, 5x4 tri-blades. These are a very similar shape to the HQ props. And uh, these are the props that Thomas actually used at the D1, uh, both for the racing and also the acro. And what you're looking at at the moment is the race footage. I will also have the acro footage towards the end. Uh, these props seem to work quite well. But the interesting observation we made is even though they're almost identical or they look identical to the HQ props, uh, the green one you're looking at there is a HQ, um, they're a shiny finish. Now I'm not sure whether that's what's making a difference or not, but um, we were surprised because the tune was out of whack, something shocking. What we had to do was retune for him. We actually swapped from his uh, A quad to his B quad. Uh, and try the same props out and sure enough it was the props that was causing the issue once he retuned uh, the props actually work quite well but it did require retuning so I think anyone buying these expecting them to perform exactly the same as a HQ or fly the same as a HQ uh, four, sorry, 5 by 4 prop um, they're not going to fly the same so it's just something you need to be aware of and finally moving on to the props that I've been uh, racing with and flying with uh, the footage you're looking at at the moment, uh, that is a smooth flight I did. Uh, you can click on that link and have a look at the video if you like. Actually, Thomas did that flight, I should say. Uh, these props, the only way I can describe them is they haven't got as much thrust as some of the other props, but they've got that added touch of crispness. Now, I think it's that 
that narrow blade that's making that difference. I liken it to having a really low profile tire on a car where it just feels really locked in. They don't have the top top end, but they are still a very crisp uh, prop. Anyway, look, I'll leave the video at that. And uh, thanks very much for taking time to watch this video. We will catch you guys in the next one. So we have Thomas and Zach right now. Tom Baker will make it through. Judge is ready. Comes up to pilot. Thomas, you have one minute from now. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Careful, you're high. Thomas, the youngster.